today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at these Vazen anamorphic lenses for Micro Four Thirds. So quick disclaimer, although Vazen did send these to me to test out and review, they are not sponsoring this video, they're not paying me, and I don't get to keep these. I actually have to send these back in a couple of days. So this is gonna be a unbiased review. So full transparency, I haven't really had that much experience with anamorphic lenses, aside from just like a couple of phone anamorphic lenses that I used on an iPhone 6S back in the day. But I was really excited and curious to see how these Vazen anamorphics would work on my micro four thirds cameras. I was able to shoot some test footage on my Olympus EM1 Mark II, as well as the Olympus EM10 Mark III. And then my buddy Jeremy actually shot a little test film on a Panasonic GH6. So the lenses that were sent out to me were this 28 millimeter T2.2 and this very large 40 millimeter T2. So both this 28 and the 40 are a 1.8 anamorphic lenses. That means that they squeeze the image and when you want to stretch it back out, you basically have to multiply your horizontal resolution by 1.8. So if you're gonna compare these to the Sure anamorphic lenses, those ones are a 1.33X. So those don't actually stretch out as much as these do. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing. For me, I don't think that these 1.8s are the most convenient for someone who shoots on a camera like I do, strictly because my camera shoots in 16 by nine only. I don't have an open gate option. And it would be a little bit more convenient shooting open gate on these 1.8 anamorphic lenses. So to be honest, the majority of tests that I did with these lenses were with this little 28 millimeter. For the sole reason that this one is a lot smaller and easier to use. This one is only about as big as a typical cinema lens for micro four thirds. And at the front of this lens, it's actually threaded as well. So you can put a 77 millimeter filter thread on this. I did really like the look of this 40 as well with the field of view and compression. But the biggest problem that I found with a lens this big is that it's not really the safest to put just directly onto your lens mount. It actually makes makes a lot of sense to have this lens mounted on a camera that's already rigged up and has a lens yoke on it. When my buddy Jeremy was shooting with this, he used a lens yoke support to go under this lens just so that it wouldn't put so much stress on the mount of his GH6. This lens is just really, really heavy too, so you have to keep that in mind. You're definitely not gonna be throwing this onto most gimbals. So the bokeh that you get with these anamorphic lenses looks amazing, and you get those really nice lens flares that everybody likes. So I would definitely be remiss if I didn't talk a little bit about the price of these lenses. Now, although I do talk a lot about low budget filmmaking gear, these are definitely not gonna fit into that category. Each of these lenses is gonna run you about $3,200. So if you're gonna be looking into using these Vazen anamorphics, it would definitely make sense to rent them first. So when I was filming here in Garland, Texas with my buddy Jeremy, I kind of quickly asked him what his first impressions were filming with these Vazen anamorphics on a Panasonic GH6. Um, first impressions of the Vazen's uh, horrible focus distance, I will say. That is an anamorphic thing. Otherwise, phenomenal. I the focus rings and the aperture ring are so smooth that like it it just glides, which makes it so easy to pull focus. It looks so much more natural when it comes out of a Vazen lens comparatively to like a Sure lens. It just looks. I hate saying this, but it looks cinematic. The 40 is probably my favorite one, just because it has that like almost 50 millimeter feel that you can, that just feels more natural, more professional, I would say, but it's a beefy lens in general. Really, really beautiful lenses. The de-squeeze is nice. So we're using the GH6, which has native de-squeeze built in. You can't de-squeeze it in camera, but it shows the assist in camera. So like I can change between 1.25, 1.3, 1.5, 1.82. 5, 1.82. So it's really helpful to kind of like see what it's going to look like in the end and shoots 5.8K anamorphic or open gate, which is pretty sick. So overall, Vazen lenses are phenomenal. I would definitely invest in a set. So yeah, some things that I just really like about these lenses, again, is just the field of view. I kind of put the field of view of this 28 millimeter against my Sigma 16 and my Sigma 30, just so you can kind of see where the field of view lies when you're shooting with a anamorphic lens like this. And yeah, I definitely agree with what Jeremy is saying. Like the lenses actually give really nice fall off 
and really pleasing looking bokeh, which I really like. But with all that being said, there definitely are some cons when shooting with his Vazins. Now, I'm not a huge sharpness snob anymore. I used to be back when I was shooting with softer cameras, but now that we have these 4K cameras, I don't really care if a lens is a little bit soft on the corners. That being said, these wide open at T2.2 are not the sharpest lenses on planet Earth. You're gonna see a little bit of softness and that can, the only real downside of that is when you're trying to pull focus, it can be a little bit difficult. But other than that, you stop it down to like T2.8, they sharpen right up and they look great. Another slight con that Jeremy also mentioned is the close focus distance. It's really not that good. It's, I believe, 2.7 feet on the 28 millimeter and the 40. So not the greatest close focusing distance, but that's typically why when you're shooting with anamorphic lenses, you need diopters so you can get a little bit closer to your subject and use them that way. So that isn't the hugest deal. And the last con that again, only applies to people like me who are shooting with cameras that can't shoot an open gate is that 1.8 can kind of be a little bit too much of a stretch. So if you're not really sure with how this all works, basically, if you're shooting a 3840 by 2160 frame, you're gonna have to stretch that image out to something like 6912 or something. And so you're actually having to stretch out a 4K image into being a larger image. So it's almost like cropping in to a 4K image because you're having to stretch it out. So you're losing a little bit of resolution. And that's kind of a bummer. If I could shoot in open gate on my EM1 Mark II, then it wouldn't be as big of a problem because I don't think that it would be as wide of a stretch that you would have to do. And if it could shoot in a higher resolution than 4K, then you could actually retain some of that detail, which is what Jeremy did with his Panasonic GH6. He shot in open gate at like 6K or something like that, and he was able to get a really nice de-squeezed image out of that 6K video. But at the end of the day, these Vazen lenses are premium anamorphic lenses. They're not necessarily for the filmmaker who is on a budget. But that being said, if you ever get the opportunity to rent or try these out, I would definitely encourage you to do so because they give a very pleasing and dare I say it, cinematic image. And it's been really fun getting to dip my toes in the world of anamorphic and I can totally see the merit in why so many people like shooting with anamorphic lenses because for the longest time, I didn't really get it. I do wanna say a big thank you to Vazen for letting me borrow these for a few weeks. They've been super fun to check out. And if you'd like to check out some more of my videos, you can click on either side of my face. And remember, if you're gonna be shooting super wide, then you have to...